chicken say for breakfast? Come and take a look at this. My chickens love squishy cucumber and potato peels and things like that. They gobble it up like it's the yummiest food in the world. Chickens are fantastic recyclers. They turn their breakfast into my breakfast. Chickens eat my scraps and drinks and turn them into yummy eggs. This is a ladybird. Sometimes they are called ladybugs or lady beetles, but I like to call them ladybirds because they can fly. Ladybirds are a type of beetle. Beetles are insects, so ladybirds are insects. Ladybirds also ooze a smelly smell that tastes terrible so that birds and other creatures won't eat them. Now that's clever. Come on in, ladybirds. But I love them most because they will come and land in my hand and stay for a chat. Hello, lovely ladybird. Ladybirds are red with spots. I love their smiles and tiny dots. Butterflies are so fascinating. They have long, hollow tube noses that they use like straws to drink up nectar from flowers. It's good for slapping, but not for tasting. So instead, many butterflies have also got little bits on their feet that help them taste. Tasty feet! Amazing! Butterflies come in all kinds of colours. Some butterflies have large dark circle patterns on their back wings that look like big eyes. They are called eye spots. And believe it or not, these fake eyes help to protect the butterflies from being eaten by other creatures. It tricks the other creatures who get surprised or scared by these crazy eyes and leave the butterflies to go about their butterfly business. Butterflies are not made from butter. <laughs> but they sure can fly. I could watch them all day long, floating and gliding and having fun. See them floating in the sky. I wish I was a butterfly. Frogs are absolutely amazing. Frogs start their lives as eggs. Eggs that float in the water until they hatch. When they hatch, they don't even look like frogs. They aren't green, they don't have legs, and they don't hop. They are called tadpoles. It takes about six weeks for them to sprout little legs. Next, their arms pop out and they start to look like tiny frogs with really long tails. Eventually, they become grown-up frogs like this one. Most frogs are slimy. Did you know that frogs have super special skin? They don't just wear it, they drink and breathe through it. Frogs don't suck up water like we do through their mouths, they suck it up through their skin and that's how they get their oxygen too. That's why frogs need a really healthy environment. They need it to survive. My frogs sing all night long. I love their croaky froggy song. I love looking after my hens and my rooster Roger. I look after them with fresh water, grain and scraps. And they look after me with fresh eggs. I guess we look after each other, really. A hen's egg can be any colour, between white or brown. A white hen usually lays white eggs and coloured hens usually lay brown eggs. That way they know whose is whose. The shell on the outside helps keep the inside safe. Eggshells are useful too. Sometimes I crunch them up into little bits and sprinkle them around the baby plants when I plant them in the garden. The pointy edges help keep snails and slugs from eating my baby seedlings. Sometimes I even give little pieces of the eggshells back to the hens to eat and then they use them to make new shells for new eggs. Amazing! Did you know that one hen can lay 250 eggs in one year? That's a lot of eggs. Little egg, big egg, brown or white. What will I make for tea tonight? I'm on Slug Watch. I know slugs do an important job. Slugs rot things like wood, breaking them down and turning them into soil. But when slugs eat the lettuces, slugs turn into pests. Big problem. 
so what to do about pests? I like to shoo the pests away from the garden naturally. Making barriers or spraying the plants with natural sprays, like onion water, makes the plants taste yucky to the pests. And off they go. Maybe I could give the slugs their own lettuce. So they stop eating mine. <clears throat> Attention all slugs. Church girl speaking. As of now, this lettuce here is yours. And all these lettuces here are not yours. So you eat your lettuce and please stop eating mine. Thanks. I think I need more batteries. Worms do lots of hard work in my garden under the soil. I can tell when the soil is healthy because when I dig it up, there are lots of worms in it. They live in the dark. They don't even have eyes. I guess they don't really need them down there. They wiggle underground, eating and making little tunnels as they go. In the dirt are tiny bits of worm food. Worms eat lots and poo lots. And the worm poo helps my garden grow. The more food I can feed my worms, the more food I can grow in my garden. The more food I can grow in my garden, the more food I can feed my worms. It's a cycle and it goes round and round. Worms can eat and eat and eat, then feed my beans and silver beet. It's not just hens that lay eggs. Lots of animals lay eggs, and that means lots of different eggs. An egg is a way to keep an animal safe until it's ready to meet the world. Some animals lay one egg, and some animals lay hundreds. Some animals build a nest to sit on to keep their eggs warm. Some animals bury their eggs underground. Some animals lay their eggs on a leaf, and some lay them in water. Birds are pretty clever. A hen can lay one egg a day. That's ten eggs in ten days. When a hen has laid enough eggs, she just sits on them. The eggs get nice and warm and the chickens inside start to grow. When they're ready to come out, the baby chickens just break the shell with their little beaks from the inside and come out. That's hatching. If the hen doesn't sit and warm the eggs, it's just an egg. Little eggs are brown and matching. Look how well this one's hatching. Owls are the only birds I see flying around at night. The owls I spy like to sit quietly watching the garden or fly silently looking for little things to eat. They like to sleep all day when everyone else is awake. I don't think owls are very good at making nests. They like to lay their eggs in the old nests that other birds have finished with. Now that's recycling. Owls also have excellent eyesight and hearing. I think they look funny with their big eyes and big heads. But what would I know? Sleep by day and fly by night. An owl sees more without the light. I think all living things should have a place to call home. It's called a habitat. I know I love my habitat, but what about all the little creatures that live around my home and garden? Every little thing that I do in my life makes little changes to the world. Most of these changes help me, like a new garden. But those changes can mean that an animal or insect will need to find a new place to live. I try to look after all the living things that live with me in Dirt Girl World. I try to look after their homes too. Even if I move a rock or just look under it, I always check to see who lives there. They don't seem to mind much if I put the rock back in the same place. The best thing about sharing my home is that there's always room for an extra habitat around here. Worm or lizard, frog or bat, all need to have a habitat. To make strawberry jam, you have to start right here in the strawberry patch with strawberries. <laughs> 